everyone, this is Daniel with The Jet Life. Today we're gonna talk about the five steps I recommend you to take before going out boating. All right guys, first step, guess what? You gotta watch the weather, right? Sounds logical, but a lot of people don't do it. So my first recommendation is that you look out for the wind, the conditions, the seas. Uh, is it gonna be two to three feet and you have a 40 foot boat? Then yeah, you can go out. But if you have a 19 footer, then you know I do not recommend that. Um, also, if you have the equipment to look for clouds like this boat, uh, radar, or you could watch your tides. Uh, for example, you live in a canal where you have a fixed bridge, you know, you gotta watch the tides too. So second step guys, inspect your equipment. By that I mean check everything that is on your boat or if your boat is sitting on a trailer, check the trailer. Um, you gotta check your lights, you gotta check your bilge pumps, your raw water, especially your engines, right? That powers your boat, so make sure you have oil in it and that is being correctly, you know, turn on the engine. If, let's say, just to give you a tip guys, if you want to make sure the bilge pump is working and you have the boat on a trailer, um, put some water, put the drain plug in, put some water in the bilge and turn on your pump because sometimes the switch could turn on but the pump is not working. So step number three guys, round up your safety gear. You're going to have life jackets for everyone. You need to have life jackets for the kids and pets too. You're also going to need a throwable device. So this could be a round shape, square shape, but you may need to make sure that it is US Coast Guard certified. Don't forget the flares too. If you get a fire, you're gonna need an extinguisher. And if your boat is over 26 feet, then you're gonna need two. All right, this is not part of the safety kit, but also my recommendation before you go out, you need to have dock lines and fenders. Protect your boat, guys. And don't forget to have something that makes noise so you can alert where you are in trouble. This boat, for example, has a horn or you could have a whistle or an air horn. Step number four, guys, check your documentation. You're gonna need to have a decal on the port side of the boat, FL numbers on both sides, and a copy of your registration. Pretty simple, so do it. And final step, guys, check your route. Even if you go out every weekend, you wanna make sure you don't wanna run aground and run in on top of a Yeti or a sandbar. So make sure you know your depth, your channels, you can't imagine how many channels are not marked. So if you have a navigation system, make sure you know how to use it. Thank you for watching today, guys. And let me know if there's anything I missed in this five-step rule before going out boating. Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe in my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you.